Now we just used it for a drill, but this is one that we actually take on to spills. So in 1993, we saw a need for oil spill response and training in this area. So we partnered with the old DNR and the old Marine Patrol, and uh, we became um, listed as a oil spill response uh, company or cooperative with the state, and we became a training facility for their curriculum, and that's how we got started. And we've been training people since 1993 to be hazardous material technicians, oil spill first responders, which is a 24-hour course. But also the co-op itself has a, uh, two boats, and we have two response trailers that are ready to go that are full of equipment, and we have a land storage locker full of equipment. All our equipment is more for in-water spills. We don't have the equipment for ocean skills or spills, ocean spills. Um, <laughs> But then we, we have a tremendous amount of absorbent boom. We have absorbent pads. Um, we have what they call sweeps. We have large rolls of absorbent materials so you can line the beaches if the fuel is coming in onto the beach. And then we have other equipment. But the main thing, the most important thing is that our responders are trained. There's things you can do to prepare the beach before any oil comes ashore. Um, and that's very important. It can really uh, reduce the impact of the oil on the shore but I think people do need to be aware that we may get a sheen and people need to understand that some sheens can't be cleaned up. You can see them, but they're just not cleanable because they're so thin. I'll go within our co-op area. Right now we have co-op members in Collier, Lee, Henry, and Glades County, and I'll go wherever they need me. That's my job.